The U.S. drought monitor tells only a small part of the story. This is a deep moisture profile. So across the Dakotas and northern Minnesota, for the most part, rivers are running relatively normally. Sloughs have water in them, but the topsoil is very dry. We just have not had very much thunderstorm chances since the snow melted mid-April. So really much of this area is either listed as dry, moderate, or severe in terms of drought, but the topsoil is severely dry. The serious drought in the U.S. is down south. A couple of good thunderstorms won't fix this. In the northern plains, you just get one of those good two, three inch rains and we'll be right back to just looking just fine. Most of the Corn Belt's actually in pretty good shape right now. So what are we going to do to affect all this? Well, the pattern right now is showing a little ridging over the Rockies. Weather this week looks a little more mild across the northern plains, so there will be a narrow region of fairly hot weather. By hot, I mean 90s. Southern plains will be a few hundreds. That'll briefly spread up to a about Iowa before it heads south. For the most part, you're talking just warm 70s and 80s this week. And moving forward to the second week, it's actually going to be still about the same, maybe a couple of brief cool downs. In other words, near average temperatures for the first half of June. Rain showers fairly widely scattered this course of this week. Best chances of rain coming around midweek and then perhaps again very late in the week, we may see a, a second round pass up into the area sometime around Saturday or Sunday or so, but again, fairly widely scattered stuff. Next week, maybe it's beginning to look like something spreading across the northern plains sometime around Father's Day. So overall, as we settle into the June pattern, milder weather northern plains than it's been, some areas of heat getting up into the central plains and the Midwest. June storms give us our typical problems. It's inconsistent. Some areas will continue to be much too dry.